Hamilton County Commissioners approve a deal this afternoon paving the way for construction of the next phase of the banks. It also deals with the Bengals' requests for contractually required repairs and upgrades to Paul Brown Stadium. Local 12's Larry Davis is live downtown with details. Larry? Hi, Rob. Remember when the Bengals and the county just couldn't seem to get along? Well, today, commissioners say this deal marks a new era of cooperation between both sides. And the deal is a win-win for both the Bengals and the Banks Project. Hamilton County Commissioners announcing this afternoon that they had struck a deal with the Bengals, which contains several highlights for both sides. The Bengals will be getting that much-wanted high-tech scoreboard new Wi-Fi system, locker room improvements, and much, much more. Both the Bengals and the county will actually share much of the cost for the improvements. Now, there was some give and take here. The Bengals waived their re oh, height restriction for buildings in the nearby Banks Project. And that will allow a 300-unit apartment building to be built very soon, as well as a complex that could house a new GE building. And the county says that it has a lot to offer should GE set up shop downtown. In terms of what it offers, I mean, look, it's, it's located between two stadiums. Uh, you have over 200 uh, sporting events. You're going to have an absolute world-class park when it's done. It extends 50 acres over the Banks Project and almost 100 acres along our riverfront. Um, we have all the new restaurants and, and, and retail, and it's just a, it's a great place to work. It is the epicenter of an awful lot of exciting growth, development, and opportunity for the greater Cincinnati region. And, um, Let's get it started. Let's get it started indeed, and they will start uh, building that new apartment building come late this month or May. And also, if GE decides to move downtown, they'll begin constructing that building later on this year. Now, Commissioner uh, Greg Hartman can, uh, says that this is more like an economic home run or even a touchdown for the entire area. And remember when they all talked about the banks for several years? Well, they've been building left and right downtown uh, right now. Live in downtown Cincinnati, Larry Davis, Local 12 News. Rob, back to you. Well, that's the truth, Larry. You've been around here a long time like I have. I have never seen downtown hopping like it is now. Have you? Never. I mean, I remember going downtown on Saturday nights. It was dead. Now you've got several places to go downtown, and uh, the banks is just uh, just booming left and right. Remember when we talked about it for eight years? Yeah. Nothing got done. Now things are getting done, finally. Yeah, in a hurry. Larry, thanks very yes. much. GE has not made a decision on whether it will locate its facility in Oakley, the banks, or Mason, all or on, um, and another site. All are under consideration, but bids are due tomorrow, so we should learn soon.